In this video, we'll be looking at how to leverage technology filtering to quickly find your ideal prospects, potential clients for your offer. So with just a couple of clicks, you can find businesses who are already using solutions related to what you're offering, to the problem that you're solving. And then with a couple of clicks more, we can launch a campaign, contact them all and put our offer in front of them. So in this video, I'll walk you through that exact process step by step. And I'll also show you a cold email script that you can use plus dozens of different targeting options to give you ideas. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. Okay, so let's assume I'm an SEO agency. I'm offering search engine optimization as a service and uh, I'm gonna use that as an example. This method and this strategy, this works for many other types of agencies or services, which I'll show you later. But let's go through this example now. So uh, first thing I have to do, I'll go to instantly, uh, I'll log in to my account, I'll go to the lead finder section and then I'm here. Now I'm offering SEO search engine optimization and I'm looking for people who are already aware of that problem or they're already aware trying to solve that particular challenge of getting more traffic through organic through uh, search uh, for search engines for google rankings and i have to think what types of solutions are they already using maybe it's a plugin on the website maybe it's a certain type of technology in our case i did some research before you can either use google or chat gpt for that and you can just think okay i'm offering an seo service what type of technologies would a potential client already be using so in our case for this example uh, i was looking around a little bit and then i saw okay like just go to technologies and then there's one plugin called um, Yoast. So a lot of people are using Yoast uh, as a WordPress SEO plugin. I'm obviously, I'm not an SEO expert, but just using that as, a, as an example. But here you can type in that technology and then you can find all the sites that are already using this SEO plugin on the website and trying to get more traffic for SEO. So when you come in and say, hey, look, I noticed that using the Yoast SEO plugin, as an SEO agency and then you can transition into your pitch, but I'll show you exactly what that script looks like later. So you can just think about uh, that as well. So let's say, you know, technologies, and then you can also research what are some other technologies. I researched that uh, before, for example, SEM rush, something people use to check on their SEO. Hrefs is another one uh, that we can look for. But in that case, you know, let's go, let's go for an example, right? I'm, I'm looking, for technologies I'm, I'm gonna show you like for how this could apply for a couple more niches before I show you like the exact way I would set up a campaign for this SEO um, service but let's say you have a conversion rate optimization agency right you help people improve their conversion rates on their websites some of them who are already aware of the problem trying to solve it they're probably already using other tools called Hotjar or they're using uh, Optimizely and these are all like plugins, technologies that people use to split test their website. So they're already probably trying to do conversion rate optimization. Maybe they're successful, maybe they're not, but that's where you come in as an expert, as a conversion rate optimization expert. Tell them, hey, look, I've seen that you used uh, Hotjar. How's it going with your conversion rate optimization? The reason I ask is because we've done, we've gotten XYZ results for this other case study and uh, you can transition into your pitch like that. It will be more relevant, right? You're already talking to people who are aware of this problem trying to solve it. Um, so that would be one, right? But let's go for a couple others. So you can, we can also use this technology filter and let's say look for people who have the TikTok conversion tracking pixel. So let's say you're doing TikTok ads as a service for people, or maybe you're doing TikTok content repurposing or just content with content strategy. You can say, hey, look, I noticed you using the TikTok uh, conversion tracking pixel on, on your website. How is it going with TikTok growth? The reason I ask, right, this would be kind of the script pitch when you're sending out that cold email. There's so many more examples, but uh, and I'll walk through a, a bunch of them, but you can really think about that and how it would apply to your specific offer. Let me just go for a couple more ideas here uh, for more reference points. So let's say I do email list management, right? Maybe I'm a copywriter and I write copy uh, for people. And then I can just look, okay, like who's using Active Campaign, right? which, is a, which is a popular email list management tool and then you can find all the businesses that are using active campaign and say hey i'm seeing uh, using active campaign i have an uh, i have another client that's also using active campaign i help them improve uh, increase revenue for email by 20 percent and tell them about your case study what you've done and then you transition into call to action i'll show that how that structure looks like in the cold email that i'm going to set up here 
Okay, and then uh, let's go through a couple more examples. Uh, one, you know, that's obvious, uh, that's brought up a lot. It's like Shopify, right? Look for e-commerce stores. If you have an e-commerce related uh, service, you can use that. Clavio is another one you can use, right? If you're doing email list or SMS uh, management, uh, you can use that technology. Find all the people uh, on the, all the companies that are using Clavio. Let's say, you know, you're launching your own SaaS company. Uh, you can look for Doku and it's an e-signature uh, software. And then you can just look for everybody. Okay, like I want to see like everybody that's using DocuSign. Maybe you're launching a competitor to DocuSign or maybe you're even a law firm or you help with legal advice. You help uh, startups or medium sized companies with, with legal advice. You know they're using DocuSign, they're probably like, sending contracts back and forth, but maybe they need some more additional help there. That's another example on how you can leverage the technology filter. Uh, another good one, right? If maybe if you're a designer, you can just look, okay, like who's using Canva? You can find companies that are using Canva. They're already probably doing a little bit of design. They're already aware of this problem. Hey, like we need nice design. Then you jump in, you show your track record, your case studies, and they will be more receptive because they're already, it, it, it's more relevant when you're sending them a pitch for something that they're already working on. Let's say another one, you know, mixed panel is uh, an analytics tool. Let's say you're a data scientist or a consultant. Um, you do product analytics uh, consulting. Maybe you do UX, user experience optimization, also conversion rate of optimization. You can also here, you can look for people who are maybe using SendGrid and then you can tell them, hey, I'm an email deliverability consultant expert. Um, I can help, uh, how is deliverability going with SendGrid? Uh, let's see if the Mailgun um, we can also find here. These are all, right, you come in at, at the right time for the people who are already trying to solve this. Um, so those technology filters are really like a good way to see intent to what certain companies are already uh, doing. Um, let me show you just a couple of more examples. Let's say you are a workflow automation specialist. You can just see, okay, like show me all the companies that are using Zapier and um, it will give you uh, an overview here and then you can say hey I can see I noticed that you're using Zapier um, I have a couple more ideas on how you can automate even more in your business so you can do that there as well uh, let's say you're a reputation management service right then you can just see okay like who has uh, who has a trust pilot on their website um, who has G2 right maybe you can help them with the reputation management like being able to remove negative reviews or whatever you know, you're offering that service, way to go about it. Another one, let's say you're running LinkedIn ads for people as a service. You can see everybody who has LinkedIn ads or the LinkedIn ads uh, pixel. So a bunch of examples here. This is like really a good way to find a potential prospect. So I showed you the example. Let's move on to the step of actually implementing this and launching it as a campaign. So going back to the example that I told you about being an SEO agency, uh, let's say, you know, I know uh, certain people are using the Yoast uh, WordPress plugin. I'm just going to reach out to the CEOs here. Um, let's say in the United uh, States, just applying my filters now in the marketing and advertising industry, just to narrow it down a little bit more. So I have my filters, right? And I know, okay, like these are CEOs of companies that are using uh, this SEO plugin and they're probably, you know, looking to scale up their SEO even more. They're looking to get more results from SEO. So let me help them out. So I'll, I'll click, I'll select a, co a couple of the contacts here and then I'll just add to campaign and then I'll type in what this is, US marketing advertising. I'm creating the campaign right now. Uh, Yoast uh, SEO uh, plugin, all right? Create this and uh, then I'll just, we added the leads to the campaign. I'm gonna open it now. And you can see, right, very quickly we go from looking for our prospects to actually launching a campaign and putting our offer now um, shortly in front of our uh, prospect. So analytics, this will populate once we launch it. Our leads are in here. They're getting verified right now. Uh, then sequences. Uh, now we have to write a cold email that we want to send them. So I pre prepared a cold email already. This is um, SEO specific. You can adjust this, you know, make some changes really for any niche. So uh, I'm just gonna do the standard subject line here, quick question, or you can also say 
uh, thoughts. Uh, so you can structure it like that, right? You can say, hey, first name, I noticed that you're using the Yoast SEO plugin and thought I'd reach out. So we're a boutique SEO agency that's help, that's help companies such as XYZ increase organic traffic by 30% and get over 100,000 organic signups within eight months. Uh, mind if I share some ideas on how we could do the same for a company name. All right, so this part, uh, obviously, right, for your offer, you're gonna have to adjust this part. You, you can just say, hey, I noticed you're using, um, you know, what the, what type of examples have we had, right? You could say, I noticed you're using Hotjar. I noticed you're using TikTok uh, tracking pixel. I noticed you're using Active Campaign. I noticed you're using HubSpot. Um, I noticed you're using SendGrid, Zapier, Airtable, Canva, LinkedIn Ads. So for uh, the mix panel, right? So here in this part, you're just gonna exchange it to what the technology is. And then this, you can introduce yourself and your value prop and wrap it into a case study, right? Here it's just saying, hey, uh, we are an SEO agency. Uh, you don't have to say uh, boutique. You can say like we are a SEO agency, helped <coughs> companies such as XYZ increase organic traffic by like whatever result you have gotten other people, um, other companies in the past. Let's say you don't have any case studies yet, then you can just say, hey, we're an SEO agency that, is, that helps uh, companies increase their organic traffic by so and so within a certain time frame. Then you just say what your value prop is and what your benefit or your, the promise of your service is. And then here we're gonna have a, a call to action. You can use this one. Mind if I share some ideas on how we could do the same uh, for company name. This will automatically insert the company name and then best. And that's pretty much it. If you wanna use another um, call to action, you can do that too. I'm gonna add this into the description as well. So different call to actions, you know, you can say interested, uh, got a few minutes to learn more, mind if I explain now, I got a quick 10 minute to chat, like you can play around with those call to actions, I'm using this one uh, for now. And then we move on, we save it, we go to the schedule, right here we know that the leads are in the US, so we're gonna leave it on the US time zone, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Then options here, we can just select a bunch of sending accounts. So what this will do here, let me just, uh, so the sending account number one will reach out to lead number one, sending account number two will reach out to lead number two, sending account number three will reach out to lead number three. It will do inbox rotation, right? So it will distribute all the sending volume across multiple inboxes, sending accounts. That way uh, you keep deliverability high and um, useful for deliver deliverability. And you can also send more volume, making sure you land in the primary folder. Then uh, here you can just leave it as the default settings and then we're gonna, just gonna click launch, publish, and we're good to go. So here we can see the campaign again, right? We uploaded the leads, we have the sequence, just one simple cold email with a pitch. We have the schedule set up, we have the, we have the options with the sending accounts and that's uh, pretty much it, right? You can see how quickly this goes really from going to the lead finder, applying the filters, the relevant technologies that show intent of your prospect, pushing that into a campaign, setting up the call email, and then clicking launch, pretty fast. And uh, yeah, that's it, outro. And that's it, pretty simple, right? I'll leave the cold email script and the list of targeting ideas in the description of this video. Try out the strategy, let me know how it goes in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. For more strategies like this one, you can get access to our instantly accelerator for free by clicking on the link in the description of the video. Okay, that's a wrap and I'll talk to you soon.